little babies. Thank you all for tuning to my YouTube channel, Kiki Yellow, and this amazing video. So, the reason why I am in a, a different location is because I'm actually going to be, um, you can say, I am going to be vlogging with you all about July 4th. Happy 4th of July to you all. Hopefully, right now, I think it's like 11.55 or it's going to be 12 o'clock. So, I'm so happy to, um, what is, I'm so happy to be vlogging for y'all. So, I'm just keeping it clean and simple. This is so, so much good lightning right here. So, let's see, I'm going to try to hold it like this because I don't want the mic to get, like, blurred. Hmm, did I get a scar? I got a scratch right there. Ooh, I didn't know. I thought the, and I had a pretty fun top, some old funky top. So anyways, um, this is just gonna be a mini, a, a July 4th vlog, just going throughout my day. I just literally came back from running errands. See my chain, see my chain. It's a really cute chain. I don't know if I ever showed you guys, but I just got a really cool, nice looking uh, chain. I don't know if you guys can see it. That's how the pendant looks like. And I like it so much. So anyways, this is just gonna be a July 4th vlog. I hope you guys really is into it, enjoy it. Uh, I hope you are, are gonna have a fantastic July 4th as well. And yeah, I'll come back to you guys if I'm gonna. Oh my god. And I'm just gonna come back to you guys when like I'm doing my makeup and stuff. I'm not gonna really vlog about my makeup because it's gonna take way too long. I'm just only gonna show you some clips of what I do and then my outfit I'm gonna be wearing and then what's gonna go down tonight. And yeah, and make sure you guys please, 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 please stay safe out there. It's getting higher and higher with the COVID-19 so please be safe please uh be careful but still enjoy your July 4th and yeah I'll come back to you guys in a minute <laughs> hello everyone as you can see I'm kind of in a different setting right now different lighting I'm actually eating some little popcorn and chicken fries and then I also have this burger so um, I'm just doing a like I said a vlog with about July 4th 2020 Saturday so yeah I just want to include that in there hello everyone I am back as you all can see this is going to be me doing my July 4th makeup and I already took a shower have my hair up in a bun uh make sure that like the ear bars on my ears or in my ears is good and yeah so i'm starting off with the uh this walgreens hydro drill eye mask that i still like to use i haven't used these in like probably like a month and a half to maybe two months uh i guess i've just been want uh wanting to do it at the right moment to use these because i don't use these very often. i don't use these every day i only use them when i'm doing my makeup or doing like the basic minimum of makeup And here I am just putting it on. And I hope you all are having a good July 4th as well. And the makeup look I'm going to be going for in the outfit is going to be like an alternative makeup uh or alternative to july 4th because we all know july 4th is has the colors of red blue and not yeah red blue and white but today this year i am going to be doing a purple look and i'm also going to be wearing a yellow outfit this is because i want it to be different i'm like this is just going to be something i would normally wear but just more fancy just more dress up or something like that 
So here I'm using my e.l.f. Uh, Hemp Derive Lip Balm and just putting it all over my lips just to make sure. I like to keep my lips moisturized while putting on my makeup because, you know, when I do get out of the shower or even wash my face, it gets really, really dry and I hate that. I really do. Either that, I either use the e.l.f. one or um, like some Carmex just to keep them good. And here I am just showing you guys a little bit that throughout this video, most parts of this video, I am going to show you how I'm going to be doing my makeup. But it's nothing that you all haven't seen before. It's the same makeup tutorial that I, I think that I did in my previous videos part back in May. But I'm just going to be doing like a really purple, um, just a purple eyeshadow look basically. Just nothing too typical. And I'm just showing you some parts of how I like do my eyebrows, how I mold them, which is like use the eyebrow, uh, like little fluffy part eyebrow shaper and just kind of shape them the way I want them. And then I go in with the pencil and I outline it halfway an inch from my actual like eyebrow line and just kind of like draw under how I want it to look like it be defined. And then I'll go in with my uh, dip pomade. Uh, this one is in dark brown. I used to use black. I'm like, I'm just going to use dark brown. It really didn't make a difference that much to me, in my opinion. So I am just using a dark brown uh, dip pomade. I don't know what I'm doing here. I'm sorry. And like I mentioned before, if you guys wonder why do I use a pencil instead of just using a full pomade, I have I already did that before. And then I did a whole pencil look before, but I like to combine a pencil with the dip pomade. I like to use the pencil to outline and sketch out my eyebrow and then go in with the dip pomade and like fill it in. And I know it seems kind of either like weird off or, or it's not going to work. I've been doing this for a really long time with my eyebrows so I would know exactly how my eyebrows would work and how it looked like. Now before, and it's always crazy like when you do your eyebrows they do look kind of funny looking because once you put it on the concealer it outlines the hell out of them and makes them really look really, really gorgeous. Like I said, I'm just going in and filling it in. I don't think I showed the other eyebrow because I really didn't want it to take up too much time. And this is just me doing something. And here I did finish both of my eyebrows. So yeah. And I am, um, oh yeah, and I forgot that I still had those things on it and it was already time to take them off. So I did uh, take those off and then I'm going to go in with my e.l.f., I believe my e.l.f. hydrating serum. And just pump a little dime size onto my finger and kind of just put that all over my face. Because I always like to make sure my face is very hydrated before I put on any type of makeup, especially if I really want it to be long lasting and things.
And I'm gonna be using this Neutrogena, I believe it's Shine Control, and it also preps with, uh, before the foundation with your makeup. So I'm just gonna be taking just a few drops here and there, which I did actually put too much, so I had to kind of like wipe some off, as you all can do. And here in this clip, I'm just only showing you guys how I prep my makeup. Because normally I don't do this if I'm just, you know, putting on, throwing some eyelashes, just doing my eyebrows and foundation, that's it. But if I'm going to go for like, if it's a even or something, then this is what I do to prep my face. And now I'm gonna use this Morphe uh, face primer. I love to use Morphe. Uh, this is, I do have other face, like two other face primers, but this is the one I really like. Not just because it's Morphe, but but it does work. It works really, 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 really well. So, and it, 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 it really has long lasting effects when I be out and about, especially like outside at night. And now I'm going to be using the, um, I believe, the Morphe Eye Lip Primer. Since I am going to be using eyeshadow for this look. And that, guys, I was actually tripping. I actually grabbed the wrong thing. I actually grabbed my Morphe concealer. Now I'm actually grabbing the Morphe Eye Lip Primer and just priming my eyelids. And now I'm gonna go in with a white milk pencil and just um, put that all over my um, eyelid. And then I'm gonna use my pinky to blend out that white milk pencil. So it don't be so harsh and it creates a nice really smooth base and like i said the reason why i do this method for years is because it's been working for years for me and the white uh like base and for my skin tone i don't know why it's just some bright colors really doesn't stand out so i have to use a really white white like milk base type of base to really just go and get that color to be very very vibrant so here I am just transitioning into, sorry, I'm transitioning into this look right here. And as you all could tell, uh, a lot of things has been completed. I actually did my baby hairs, but uh, I actually did my baby hairs off camera. And then I also put in like um, the purple color. So the two purple colors that I'd end up using, uh, it was a dark purple color for the base. And then I put like this really, really glittery shimmer purple color from the Morphe X James Tra eyeshadow palette, the mini palette. And you could buy it off of Morphe. I think it was $27, $26. $26. And then once I put that on my eye, uh, my eyelid i took that glitter shimmery color the one that i did put on top of the dark purple color and then i just sweep some of that down under my eyelid like the bottom of my eyelid my uh lower lash line if you can say it like that so that way uh i wanted to have like a i just wanted to put it down there because that's the whole point of the look just 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 do that 
And then I went in with a uh, Makeup Obsession X Jordan Bell eyeshadow palette. And I took the color Miami, which is a very, very neon purple. You could tell by the eyeshadow palette I'm using in that. And a really like soft, uh, really small, stifling looking in a quarter brush or something. And I'm taking that and just dabbing into my tear duct right there. And that Miami color is just so pigmented and vib vibrant. Like it really is. It's like a really neon, pretty, pretty color. And then I did pop on my eyelashes afterwards because I really wanted this video to go a little bit faster. And this is probably like the fastest thing I've ever done because normally you guys are know I really don't cut out anything. I still do cut out my uh, eyelashes, of course. And I'm getting around to doing my eyebrows on camera, but really not because the eyebrows and eyelashes take just a little longer than like the eyeshadow, the foundation, uh, other stuff for your face when you're doing the makeup look. And the reason why I kept going back in is because I feel like one side was more pigmented than the other. And I hate when I do that because it takes up so much time. But I really wanted my right side, which to you guys is my left side, to be really pigmented in the corner. But it was just going to take some time. So yeah, so this is me before I put on the foundation and all the other stuff. So here I am just, uh, okay, ignore that. Here I am just grabbing my, uh, I believe my Morphe foundation. And I'm gonna grab a beauty blender. And yes, I still use the method where you uh, Squeeze a little bit dime size or nickel quarter size of foundation onto your palm and then use a beauty blender to dip that in there and then dab it onto your face. This is just that way I can control the product that is coming that is being putting onto my face and that way I don't overdo it. And I always like to put a foundation on to see myself on camera do it because you can see like of course the difference. Anytime someone put on a foundation, it does change a little bit of the color of the skin depending. I've seen some where they're totally really really like light and they put on some yellow foundation. It's just a little weird, but you know, once it blends out and then like an hour or two goes back, it does like you know solidify into their skin. Like it, it really makes a really good look. I am just really blending that in, going under under, going under the eye, the cheek area, and all of that. And like I said, I didn't want to show you guys the whole look. So here, this is it. Your girl looking smack. So I already did. I'm showing you guys the little, little crazy thing. I already did my foundation, my concealer. I already did my bake, and then I already uh, did my loose finishing powder. So I already got all those out of the way. So here I'm using my Makeup Obsession double, two double sided eyeliner palette and this time for this look only since it's going with a purple type of vibe and anti July 4th vibe I'm going to be taking this highlighter or highlight um, color called Dancing Elves and I'm just going to be putting that all over my nose, the bridge of my nose and underneath my brow bone underneath my eyebrows and here i really wanted that color to stand out like you guys it probably doesn't show on camera but i put a lot of highlight on here like a light i literally highlight the elf out of my nose and bridge of my nose all the time anytime i do a look it can even be like a simple look of me doing my eyebrows foundation and popping on some eyelashes and i would still highlight the crap out of my nose like I don't know it's just some highlighting my nose just gives me some type of like relief or like 
some satisfaction like it's it's just it it makes it such a cool transition like it really did you can see it from the lighting and i did open my blinds so that way you all can actually see what the like what the hell i'm doing because i did not you know recharge my little ring lights so yeah but next time i will and here I am just taking that same Dancing Elves highlight color and popping it right underneath my brow bone. Just gotta highlight those brows. I used to highlight my cheek area too, but I stopped doing that because like, it really, it was just pointless to me. I mean, I really like to highlight. I'll do it from time to time for a very special, important event. But to be honest, I really don't really do it. I only see the fit of just highlighting underneath my brows and the bridge of my nose and my little no nose the button and I noticed right here on my right hand side of my eyebrow I put a little bit too much of highlight but I didn't care so well so here I'm using the final you know product to solidify this makeup no 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 actually I went back and grabbed my lip gloss because girls and boys we all know we have to have that bomb lip gloss okay i've been using this bomb it's just it's a sticky lip gloss you know i really don't care but it's this bomb clear lip gloss and i love to put like i love clear lip gloss i don't really use lipstick like that unless it's like dark brown mocha type of lipstick or burgundy but i really don't even wear lipstick at all like that and just rare every balloon but i always 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 have to wear clear lip gloss it can be with eyeshadow or it can be without eyeshadow like you see that you see that your girl is snatched okay and now i'm gonna be setting my spray and i was hearing it i'm like oh my god i need to get more so here i just sprayed it all over my face and you don't have to spray that much like that. I don't know why. I like to get every angles. So that is that. So this is the final and complete makeup look. I am so happy with the results. And I'm so happy that the lightning actually captured it. So I actually stood up and wanted to show you guys like full view of the pretty purple makeup. The beautiful eyelashes. The bomb ass freaking, you know, eyebrows. So yeah, thank you guys so much for tuning to this little mini makeup tutorial for the 4th of July and have fun and be safe.